I, uh, you all, uh, it's quite difficult. So if you really have any doubt, any problem, please write it down on a chat box, use your fingers, and I will try my best to answer all the questions. And if I miss anyone's questions, I'm so sorry in advance. Okay. Okay. But I, I hope today we are going to enjoy a lot and there will be no issue if you are going to concentrate. Okay, so let's start without wasting any time. So we, I, I know everyone knows what we are going to make today. Ostrich with stroke art. Now, what is stroke? Can you write on a chat box? Can you can can anyone write on a chat bot box, please? What is strokes? Can we use brush pen? No, dear. Normal sketch pens. You can use. Uh, colored pens also and those who are not having colored pen or maybe sketch pens you can use pencil color also I will tell you okay okay so lines yeah we can call it lines yes marks okay great wonderful answers strokes okay there is a difference between uh, yeah strokes basically it's a line we are going to use lines but there is a force they, there will be a force, okay? That's because of that force, it is going to be called um, strokes. So I will tell you the difference between normal line and stroke, okay? Before that, I really want to so show you once again image so that everyone <clears throat> can connect what we are going to do. See, it's lovely, don't you think? See the beautiful eyes. And the beautiful strokes, so these are called strokes. So don't worry, I'm going to tell you everything. Yeah, so today we are going to do ostrich with stroke art. Ostrich, oh my God, beautiful bird, big one. And can you, can anybody tell me any fact about, amazing fact about ostrich, huh? Can anybody? Ostrich having such a large, this much large, uh, I think, egg. And uh, humans also eat, eat it. And, oh yes, it's the fastest bird, wonderful. Great, oh my God, such an intelligent one. I'm, I'm having such an intelligent group right now. Wonderful answers, great, great, great. Okay, so let's start. So before I start, I really want to uh, tell you about the material for that. I'm just going to quickly uh, arrange my phone so that you all can see everything clearly. For that, just give me a second so that I can fix my phone, which is very important. Okay. Hmm. Here we go. So you need very simple tools, very simple tools right now. You need one sheet, one sheet, whatever size you have, you can use that. If you have bigger size, maybe uh, you can make many more ostrich. I am going to use A4 sheet right now, okay? So you need A4 sheet, pencil and eraser for drawing. I am going to use my sketch pen as I always use sketch pen for drawing so that you all can see everything clearly. But it's a request, please use pencil and eraser so that you can use your power and you can erase your mistakes. Okay, I am going to use sketch pen. And yes, of course, after coloring, after drawing and coloring, you can do the outlining with your black sketch pen if you want. It's optional, okay? So you need these kind of normal sketch pen I'm going to show you. See, yeah. So if you don't have a sketch pen, you can use uh, color pen. Yes, you can use color pens or maybe it's, it's uh, the option substitute for uh, sketch pen is, I think pencil colors are much more better. So you can use pencil color, just sharp it and you use it. Okay, we can use marker. If you have this thin markers, if you have these, this thin marker, yes, of course you can. Otherwise, if it, it is thick one, 
please don't use markers uh, just use pencil colors okay or maybe colored pen that is also better okay so let's start without wasting any time because right now i'm very excited to tell you to teach you okay so take your sheet keep it in a portrait size i i i hope everyone now know that what is portrait and what is uh, landscape but just for you all those who are new student for this class see color we need we need sketch pens or pencil color sketch pen or pencil color okay mm -hmm. you have to keep your sheet like this landscape this is for landscape this is called portrait landscape portrait so we have to keep it like this portrait size okay now we are going to make this beautiful bird and you can see the strokes you can see the strokes and you can see these strokes are not very straight every area i'm going to cover okay so we have to learn how to do a little curve strokes so before i start i really want to tell you uh, the difference between normal line and strokes and i'm going to use this rough sheet okay just please look here everyone see normal line is going to be look like this going to start like this going to end like this yes but we are not going to do it like this no we are going to give this line a little force like this when we use our sketch pen or color in this manner this is called stroke okay so we are going to use this technique this is called stroke art stroke art we are not going to make it like this no we have to use it like this and it can be a big one it can be a small one that is perfectly fine for strokes it is not important that every line should be in the same size no okay and that is the beauty of this art okay so if you are getting different uh, size of lines it is perfectly fine so first of all you have to learn how to do this like this you all can practice on your rough sheet if you have or maybe on your uh, rough old newspaper also so like this this is called stroke so we have to do it like this and how we can give a curve so maybe you have to practice for these type of curve strokes also see there is a curve na like this okay perfect okay so i hope now you understood how we are going to use our sketch pen so many doubt regarding uh material so i am going to tell you again what you really need you need one sheet so whatever sheet you have whatever size sheet you have if you have a4 size if you are you going to use your uh, art compi please use it no issue okay art notebook that is also fine and for colors you can use your sketch pens or pencil colors and if you have both please prefer i will prefer use your, your sketch pen for drawing you have to use your pencil and eraser but i am going to use my sketch pen so that you all can see everything clearly but after drawing and coloring you can also do the outlining with your sketch pen okay so now let's start without wasting any time so i'm going to use this center point the center area for making her uh, mount area you can see over here so i'm going to start from here 
so this area i'm going to make first okay so we are going to use this area for that so the size will be this much big i will advise please observe first then you have to start okay now i'm going to start from here I'm going to start from curve line curve 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 three curves i have given on a center of my sheet try to use center a little side will also okay but try to use center okay now i cannot erase my drawing because i'm using sketch pen but i hope you all are using your pencil so one curve two curve and three curve one two and three a little big one you can see the size of this uh, shape this much big after every step i'm going to give you a little time so that you all can do your step also so don't worry just try to concentrate okay right now <clears throat> okay someone has written can we use pencil also yes you can use pencil for strokes also if you don't have any color of course you can this is your learning time and just try to learn and whenever you have colors use it do it again okay great okay so now i'm going to start with another step i'm going to give again curve over here but opposite direction like this and join so total how many curve line 1 2 Three and four, and try to give equal. Okay, try to give equal uh, size curves. It's like a cloud. Oh, great! <laughs> yes. Okay, it's such a large group. I cannot take everyone's name. but you all are doing wonderful job great i can see you all and you all are doing very sincerely your work wonderful okay now now the next step is i'm going to use this area the inside of this shape again making some few curves like this and this these two lines just like we make for smile na these two lines and you can see i have given equal distance between this line and this line so just try to do it like this so this is your learning time and i have i have already uh, you all have seen already that work that picture and uh, i have used so many different colors multiple colors so it's optional if you want to use a uh, different color use it differently single color is also okay two colors three colors are also okay just try to make it this portion nicely otherwise everything will be okay done oh great so wonderful okay let's start with another step again curve like this and join those who are using i uh, say this is your learning time i always say that okay so when we are going to learn every step if you have big uh, sheet and you have so much of a space you can make even more and more uh, different size or stretch on your sheet it will look beautiful okay now 
After this, I'm going to use this area, the inside of this shape, I'm going to make tongue. Okay, so I'm going to show you from closer also, so don't worry. Mm, now it's looking good, don't you think? Now it's looking like a mouth. Great, lovely. It's already looking good, cute, don't you think? I personally love this activity. <laughs> and I hope you all are going to learn that. I love that. Okay, so take your time. Okay, so now uh, mouth area is done. Now we are going to make beautiful eyes. For eyes, I'm going to use this area and going to make a big oval shape eye. And please look here, first observe, then start and try to make equal size oval shape one and two. Hmm, beautiful, don't you think? This much big, looking lovely. Great. Try to make beautiful oval and both the eyes should be in the same size. Okay, now uh, inside these eyes, I'm going to make one one curve line from here to here and to I'm going to show you from the close. And now two small circles, one and two, one and two. See. Hmm, lovely. See, because of I, uh, you can make many more expressions. Uh, I, I have made a different expression, which I have already done. See, the expressions are not same. You can see both the eye expressions. So it's a lovely thing that from uh, I, see eyes are always, we can use it. It's a beautiful example of non-verbal communication. We can communicate with through our eyes only. There is no use if you don't want to use your, your uh, tongue. <laughs> it's a beautiful way, huh? So you can experiment on that also. Okay, now I'm going to make some eyelashes, which is the best part. I think you all love to make that, especially the girls. Uh, like this. I'm going to show you from the closer, so don't worry. Just wait, observe, then start. Hmm, eyelashes are done. So eyes, mouth area are done. Now we are going to make neck area. Okay. 
And for that, I'm going to use this area. So I'm going to start from here and going to end till the end of the sheet. Please first look here like this. And now like this, just try to maintain this distance where you can see the much distance and equal distance. Mm, lovely. till the end of your sheet and if see what i'm telling you that that time that you can use this area and this area for making small small ostrich maybe this one big the baby ostrich huh? both the sides you can use so first learn then make many more ostrich and enjoy great Okay, so after doing this much, we are going to start with coloring part. Drawing part is done. Now we are going to start with coloring. For coloring, I'm going to start from eyes first. Okay, you can uh, see it's a lengthy process, of course, always uh, the filling work. Those who are uh, ready with their colors, be ready with your black color first, because we are going to start with eyes. So please look here, everyone. If you want, you can write black and just leave it for, uh, you can continue this work after this class also, if you want, or you can do it right now also. So I'm going to fill my black color over this area. I'm going to leave these two small circle as it is white. Please don't color that. It will give light effect and, and the beautiful one. So please use single direction for coloring. As you can see, I'm using and fill it properly. No white portion should be left. And very important, your color should be within the boundaries. Do it neatly. I really like neat and clean work. Your work always reflect your personality. Always remember this, huh? So whatever you are doing, just it's a reflection of you. So just try to make beautiful, neat work. You can see because of these two small circle eyes it's looking beautiful so we are going to fill black color for this area and the same thing of course we are going to continue with another eyes you can write b you can write b for black and leave it if you need time to fill it nicely okay i'm doing it a little faster Maybe you need much more time. Neatness always, beauty always need a little time. Yes. So don't worry, you can continue this work after this class also. So you can write B so that you can remember B for black. And just wait for the next step. Single direction I'm using, very important for neatness. Color should be with in the boundaries. No white portion, fill it properly, okay? Just concentrate, you all are doing wonderful job. I can see each one of you doing very sincerely. And I'm sure that you all are doing Wonderful job and the result will be awesome. See. Oh, done, ma'am. Abha, I have a question. Please ask. I'm waiting. <laughs> I finished, ma'am. Wonderful. So many chat right now. I'm receiving, ma'am. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Wonderful. Very fast. I really appreciate your speed. 
So let's start with another step. We are, I'm going to use my orange color for this area. Okay, and right now I'm concentrating on my work. So please try to avoid writing on a chat box because it's quite difficult for me to read. Okay, so I'm going to use my orange color for this area. Same technique I'm going to use, single direction. Fill orange color over here. Bright, beautiful orange. It will look great. So we are doing it a little cartoon style. Huh? So we are using multiple colors. If you want, you can change colors also. You can use your own color combination. I have no issue. Again, if you need a little time to do it beautifully, please write O that you can remember and just leave it. You can complete this filling work after this class also. Just mark it O for orange. Oh, done ma'am, done ma'am. So many done ma'am, huh? For this tongue, I'm going to use red color. If you want, you can use pink color also. I really like red. So I'm going to use red color right now. If you want pink, use pink. I love this orange and red combination. And for this area, I'm going to use black so that it will look that the inside of her mouth. There's a darkness. And you can see the effect. Lovely. Okay, so after this, we are done with drawing and coloring also. Now we have to do stroke art. Only stroke art is left. So I'm going to give you a little time so that you all can fill your, these areas with your colors. Um, I am done, Swati done, Anushka, ma'am, see mine. Okay, Anushka, wonderful work. Done, Riddhi, very good. Okay, so many done, huh? Great. Dakshita, very good. Halak, wonderful, okay. Ayan, Aisha. Oh my God, so many, so many right now I'm, I'm receiving. It's quite difficult for me to take everyone's name, Nidhi, wonderful. Okay, so let's start. I'm so sorry I cannot take everyone's name, but you all have done wonderful job till now. So clapping for you all, okay? Okay, now everyone, please concentrate. Now the very important part we are going to start, that is stroke art, the main subject of today's work. Of course, the, today's, today we are going to do two main subjects, 
uh, first is done the ostrich drawing and filling work. Now we are going to concentrate. Now we are going to start with stroke art. Okay. And I have already told you how we are going to use our sketch pen for making these strokes. So let's start. So as you all have seen, I have used so many colors right now over here. So if you want, you can also use multiple color. And if you want, you can use single or maybe two color combination or three. That is up to you. Okay. So now I'm going to start with three different tone of blue color. Three different tone. If you want, you can um, take any other color combination also. That is fine for me. I'm going to start with light blue color from here. Okay, so I'm going to start from here, from the center of both the eyes. And first, please look here. First, observe, then, then start. Very important. Okay, please concentrate first. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make strokes. Some are going to be straight. And some are going to be having curve this side and going to be this side. So both the sides I'm going to give a curve and some straight lines also, some straight strokes also. How you can give that, please look here first, okay? So I'm going to, according to my comfort, I'm going to turn my sheet according to my comfort, okay? Because I'm going to start from this area so I really need to give uh, a little curve strokes from this side, like this. So I'm going to turn it like this and see. I'm going to do it like this. You can see all the strokes are going this side. Now I really need to make it this side. So I'm going to turn it according to my comfort. Every stroke cannot be in the same size and that is perfectly fine. So don't worry, okay? See. And maybe some area, I'm going to make it a little straight one. I did not given so much of his space over here, you can see, but space over here. The center is done. Now I'm going to take a little dark tone, blue color. Now again, I'm going to turn because I really want to cover this area. Now, Another shade of blue. Again, I have turned according to my comfort. If you can do without turning your sheet, that is also perfectly fine, okay? I really found it very easy if I turn according to my uh, curve. So if you want, you can also try. After using three tone of blue, I'm going to start with green color. Now, this side. Lovely. And this side also. Hmm, looking beautiful. Now I'm going to use yellow color, just a little bit, just to give a little more brightness. Yellow color always give a little brightness to your work. See, you can see easily, yes? So just yellow color, this side and this side also. Hmm. 
that's it i think it's enough do not use so many strokes otherwise uh, the distance between all the strokes will be not you are not going to get much more distance and all the lines will uh, all the strokes will merge with each other okay so just use few few strokes we are not going to fill it okay the every stroke having individual beauty so very important to give that beauty okay okay so now i'm going to use more colors hmm now more colors for that i'm going to use yellow uh maybe red and pink lovely combination yellow red and pink and i'm going to use this area this area and you can see i have used this oval shape because we are going to get this roundness so i have used this curve strokes over here this side this now over here you can see we are getting a uh, curve upside also and down also see upside and down also so we have to use these kind of strokes also and these kind of strokes also upside and down also so i'm going to use my yellow color first turn going to turn my sheet and going to start from here going to make few lines only few strokes only and you can see the curve and from this side also again i have turned according to my comfort so that all the stroke will having beautiful curve and it will give a beautiful effect as you all can see now I'm going to use my pink color see there is no scope of erasing it it means every stroke will be perfect it should be perfect okay so if you need to practice first please practice first okay and it's your learning time so whatever result you are getting right now that is perfectly fine trust me you all are doing wonderful job okay and after this class now you have learned now after this class you can make many more stretch okay with different colors okay so don't worry it will take time to understand the stroke art see now i'm going to give downside strokes not much just turn your sheet according to your comfort and make these strokes try to do it correctly because there is no uh, chance to erase it we are using sketch pens and now i'm going to use a little bit yellow color i really love this brightness and just to give a little shine or maybe finishing yes perfect see it's looking lovely hmm now the mouth area is done now what if you want you can add few lines over here for just to okay now i'm going to start with neck area and over here also we are going to use the same 
uh, technique stroke art and for that i'm going to use same colors which we have already used over here so the combination of three different tone of blue color and the yellow pink and red color if you want if you want you can add more colors or maybe reduce also so three different tone blue red yellow pink red green okay going to start from the center of over here so so you have straight area over here so i'm going to use this curve now i'm going to use a little curve according to the space you have to choose that you have to make straight strokes or a little curve strokes the first these are the first line which we are going to make for this area i'm going to tell you how you are going to use that area that is important see now these are the first stroke for uh, neck area now the second one i'm going to use this area but over here we have to use upside strokes also and downside so that both the stroke lines will merge together okay and how we we can do that please look here i'm going to use the second color combination which we have used over here so so i'm going to use upside also like this right now i'm using upside like this another down strokes also like this so both the direction we have to cover okay so that it will merge together very important like this up and down up and down up and down now the second third strokes patch we are going to start with because it's end point so we are going to start from here to upside because it is ending point okay and if you have much more space maybe you can do more layers upside perfect see hmm <clears throat> okay so now only the background is left and for background you can use i have already told you now you learn how to make this art this activity now i hope there is no confusion so uh, you can use this area for making maybe baby ostrich over here and here both the sides it will look adorable and if you don't want uh it's optional of course totally optional so i am going to use these kind of dots which i really like personally 
so if you want you can also use and please please if you are going to use these kind of dots try to make it beautiful circle then fill it neatness is very important then only it will look good okay and if you want uh, you can use different color uh, dots i'm using black only you can use different shapes maybe uh, instead of using these dots you can make use maybe you can paste also something maybe you can use glitter or whatever you you can paste some stones over here at the background or uh, star shape or any other shape also so it's totally optional if you want to do it like this do it like this otherwise use your brain use your ideas i am going to appreciate that if you are going to use your own ideas okay i will also learn from you all and it's a wonderful thing for group study huh? right now we have such a large group we can learn from each other it's a wonderful thing yeah so just share your beautiful ideas for background and we all can learn from each other and you can see i'm using a little distance okay it is looking good looking lovely adorable cute don't you think okay so i am done from my side as you can see so if you are ready with your work please hold your work so that we all can see each other work and we all can appreciate each other work very important to learn appreciate others wonderful wonderful work from everyone wow great outstanding so you all have done wonderful job and some nora wonderful work wonderful wonderful trishna shankar wonderful the vanil wonderful very good oh my god you all are done wonderful job great devanshi very good dia very good dakshita very good devanshi very good nitya very good niyati very good great Oh my god you all have done wonderful job Vrishti very good dear Sanvi very good see it's very difficult to take everyone's name it's such a large group so i'm so 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 sorry for i cannot take everyone's name but yes i can clap for you all because i right now i'm very happy and you all have done wonderful 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 job so great work everyone keep learning like